Hi friends, welcome to a Sunnyside Design video. I am Michelle. And I am Steph, and this is week six of the One Room Challenge. If you're new here, welcome. We're glad to have you. Please subscribe to our channel to help our channel grow so we can continue making these videos for you. So this week, not only will we share a sneak peek of the entire bathroom progress, but we're also going to teach you how you can make an affordable barn door for the bathroom. If you've been following along for any time at all, you know that we love to use vintage items throughout our homes. I snagged this old door off of the Facebook Marketplace for only $5. So we're using it here as a barn door. First you'll want to remove all of the hardware from the door and give it a light sanding around the hinges and the doorknob. Then you'll need to decide how you're going to fill the holes created by the hardware. For the doorknob hole, we used a hole bit with our drill to cut a circular shape of wood to fill the majority of the hole. In all, we cut three pieces of wood to equal the thickness of the door. We used three quarter inch MDF and a couple pieces of masonite. To make sure that I was securing this piece of wood into place, flush level with the door I used a clamp to hold it into place and that also gave me a little bit of peace of mind that I wasn't going to shoot my fingers with the brad nailer. If you're using multiple pieces of wood to create that thickness that you need be sure to secure them together using wood glue and brads. After the pieces of wood have been joined together you'll need to secure them inside the doorknob hole. First tacking it into place with a brad nailer and two inch brads and then applying plenty of glue around the edges. Using an existing door to convert into a barn door is a cheap alternative to buying a new door. Once the wood glue has dried you'll need to fill in any remaining holes or gaps. To achieve the most durable bond we used Bondo. For best results, carefully follow the mixing and application directions. Working with Bondo, you have a short window of time, about three to four minutes before it hardens, so you do need to work quickly. You'll also want to mix the Bondo with something disposable, such as a stir stick or something similar that you could throw away. Once it's mixed properly, you can apply it to these areas that need a little bit more filler in there. We applied it where the door hinges were, the doorknob, and um, where the door hooks into the door jam. So you, again, you need to work quickly. You just use your stir stick and press it into those holes or gaps in your wood. And you do want to leave some excess up top because you're going to sand it smooth anyway. If you don't do enough, you'll likely have to do a second coat to cover any of these gaps or seams. So don't be afraid of leaving it bumpy or having ridges because it will smooth down beautifully after it's been dried. After the allotted dry time, use coarse sandpaper to smooth the Bondo, creating a flat surface. Then prior to painting the door, you'll want to smooth over the entire surface of the door with a fine grit sandpaper and then apply the paint of your choice and allow to cure completely. We're using Bare Cabinet and Trim Enamel and we have it color matched to Hill Navy by Benjamin Moore. It's really a wonderful paint for self-leveling properties and it's a little bit more durable as doors get a little bit more abuse than other surfaces that are painted. Now it's time to install a barn door hardware. You can pick this up multiple places from your local home improvement store, Amazon, other online vendors. We grabbed ours from Home Depot. We'll put a link below in the description if you want to grab yours. So you'll want to follow specific instructions per the hardware kit that you choose. Use the hardware template provided with the kit or the hardware itself to accurately mark placement for the bolts. To hang the barn door for the bathroom, you'll first need to determine the rail placement on the wall. To help us in this step, we placed scrap wood about a quarter of an inch thick under the door to raise it up off of the ground. 
This allowed us to accurately mark the wall for the mounting hardware. Be sure to secure the lag bolts into the wall studs for a secure hold. Attach a handle to the barn door if desired and hang the door. As promised, here's a sneak peek at all the progress. I'm so glad we have the barn door up. I love how it functions. And then we've done this fun board and batten wall, joining these two sides together. And we're going to put hooks for bath towels on this side. All right, what do you think of this fun barn door? I am absolutely loving it and trying to think if I want to add one to my home. I'm thinking of possibly the pantry would be a fun place to do one. Yeah, and I just love how simple it is. We just left the simple straight lines. That, that way it doesn't compete with the ship flap, but it still gives it that timeless look and it, it gives that little bit of vintage, vintage flair that we like as mm -hmm. well. So we hope you liked this tutorial and giving you some inspiration for incorporating a barn door somewhere in your home. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you have not already. We love making videos for you. We also love hearing your comments, questions, and if you have any ideas or suggestions for videos you want to see us make, be sure to let us know down below as well. So thanks for watching again and be sure to subscribe and follow us on all our social media, which is in the links below. And as always here at Sunnyside Design, we hope to bring your home to the sunny side of the street.